Getting mad is not good for us. We are often taught. We have been taught that our anger works against us, not for us. But that has never been true for the most famous Muay Thai fighter of all time. Boakao, the most prolific Muay Thai ambassador in the history of the sport, is a fighter that seems to be perpetually angry, and the angrier he gets, the better he performs. Fight fans, welcome back to another episode of Striking Breakdowns. In this episode, we explore the epic moments where Boakao becomes the Hulk. For the purpose of not letting this video run too long, as there are way too many moments of Boakao fighting angry, we will show the fights where he got the angriest. Coincidentally, it's against the three very best Japanese fighters of his era. Two of the fights came from his breakout year in K1, which was the angriest Boakao has ever been in fights. During the historic 2004 K1 World Grand Prix tournament, Boakao fought three times in one night and went a total of 11 rounds. In the first fight, he beat the number one foreign Muay Thai fighter of his time, John Wayne Parr. It was all serious business here, and not a whole lot of anger. In the second fight, however, Boakao went full beast mode. This was against Takayuki Ohiri Maki, the number two best Japanese kickboxer at that time. Takayuki would foul Boakao by repeatedly kicking him to the shin after catching his kick. Repeated strikes after a catch is illegal in kickboxing, and Boakao gave him the most intimidating stare across the ring we have ever seen. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. I mean, who would not be intimidated by that? The truth was Boakao wasn't angry just because he got fouled. This angry face was because he was really hurt from the kicks. Yes, Boakao used anger to put on a poker face, and his will for revenge exceeded his pain. Like Mike Tyson, who channels his fear from before the fight into a godlike persona once he's in the ring, but the closer I get to the ring, I'm more confident. Once I'm in the ring, I'm a god. No one can beat me. Boakao channels his pain into becoming the Hulk. What followed was the complete domination of angry low kicks, knees, and ridiculous throws. In the third fight, Boakao absolutely dominated Masato, the number one ranked Japanese superstar. The rightful anger came from Boakao dominating for three whole rounds and the match being ruled a draw despite Boakao's dominating performance. To understand what happened, simply look at how Boakao immediately celebrated after the bell rings. Then look at the shock on his face when he heard that they need to go to an extension round. Like a man possessed, he went all out, and Masato was thoroughly dominated for one more round. After the ridiculous fight, legend says Masato took months to recover. The third Japanese fighter was against Yoshihiro Sato, a fighter who dominated karate and Japanese K1 tournaments. Boakao faced him a total of four times, the first time they faced off, Boakao knocked him out. The second time they fought, it was a lot closer, with Boakao winning by split decision. The third fight, however, was a historic fight where Boakao lost by knockout. The only time it's ever happened against a foreign fighter. Many pundits say he threw the fight, but those who were training with Boakao at the time said he wasn't taking the fight seriously. What many people don't know is that he had been mentally fatigued by dealing with legal troubles with his manager and gym owner, who was a corrupt gangster. Boakao also underestimated Sato as a fighter he already beat twice. Those who were training with him said he often skipped the morning runs and also trained lazy for this fight. What we believe happened was that Sato did hurt Boakao to the body. He landed 
very flush knees to the liver consistently and anyone who has been hit by them knows how devastating and draining they can be. The liver shots are likely what created a weird knockout when Boakal was trying to hide his pain with a poker face. On the way down, Sato even hit Boakal with a nut shot. Regardless of what happened, this set the stage for their fourth and final fight years later. The final fight took place in Thailand, where Boakal was finally free of his corrupt manager. In front of his nation, he looked determined and you can see on his face that he wanted payback. What happened in this fight was Boakal hitting more sweeps than we have ever seen. I mean, just look at the utter disdain on his face when he sent Sato flying on his very first sweep. Have you ever seen an elite fighter swept so much? Boakal also used beautiful teeps and roundhouses during this fight. He had already started a great friendship with Sanchai and already begun training and sparring together. You can see by the way he bounces and uses his shuffles to set up long range roundhouses that Sanchai had some influence on his style. You can also tell by the way he slides back from attacks and lands beautiful roundhouses to the body that Sanchai had a big influence on this fight. These are all techniques not normally in Boakao's arsenal. Quite possibly to avenge the KO nut shot Sato gave him, he threw nut teeps and nut knees of his own, which are totally legal in Thai Muay Thai. By the end of the third round, Boaka was getting tired from throwing him and landing so many shots. He also landed flush left hooks and overhands at will. So when he took him down one last time, he just laid on top of him for a while. After the fight, Boaka was a happy man. He avenged his most prolific loss in a dominating way and again harnessed his emotions to his advantage. What do you think of this epic showcase from the Hulk of Muay Thai? We personally love that Boakao can effectively use his anger to entertain us. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to watch another episode of Striking Breakdowns. I'm Lawrence Kenshin and thank you for keeping our channel alive.